Erica Antoinette, there are two focuses here this morning. One, the safety of the homes that are in these neighborhoods, and secondly, how it all happened. Now, we're in one of the neighborhoods here in South Lawrence that you can still see, still see that's off limits, and here's why. Uh, this, is, this is just one of the homes that was engulfed in flames. One of up to 80 reported gas fires in Lawrence, Andover, and North Andover yesterday. Think about that, 80. Utility crews, along with police and fire, have been working around the clock. They'll continue to do that to look at over 8,000 natural gas meters. At an overnight news conference, Governor Baker says he knows that people want answers. The focus remains on ensuring the public safety. Once that's complete, we'll work with federal government and others to investigate how this occurred and to hold the appropriate parties accountable for their actions. And as we told you at the top of the hour, this situation has taken a deadly toll. A teenager was in that car here on Chickering Road when a chimney fell off that home. 18-year-old Lionel Randone was killed. Now, he did not live at this home. He lives on Chestnut Street here in Lawrence. Friends tell us they are just heartbroken. They describe the teenager as brave, humorous, and caring. Somebody who is always making sure that other people were okay. A tragic loss in the midst of what was really and clearly a catastrophic and chaotic day here in Lawrence. Sarah Kanji is